Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. I'm here to present another video on Apache Scoop. This time around, I'll be discussing about compression. As you guys all are aware of the term compression, so compression meaning is that to reduce the size of the file so that um, uh, we can use the disk for some other files, right? Okay, so let's start with this. Uh, like, uh, if, we, if, if I start with the file compression, it actually comes with some benefits. So it, we have a two benefits in this case. We have, first is that it all it reduces the space needed to store files. Obviously, that if we do compression, we'll be having the uh, we'll be saving a space so that we can store some other files. Yeah, in addition to it, it also speeds up the data transfer across the network. This comes very handy if we talk about Hadoop because in the case of Hadoop, it's a distributed environment and we uh, like usually we transfer the files over the network. And uh, if it is a reduced one or a compressed one, it will take lesser time. So we'll be having an efficient data transfer across the network. So it's quite a like a good thing to have. Okay, so like, uh, while dealing with the large volumes of data, like in the case of big data, it is it is very, very uh, useful thing because we need to transfer a lot of files over the network. So if we have a compression available, so it will take lesser time to go to the other end. Okay, so there are multiple algorithms or compression formats available and every algorithm and format comes with different characteristics. Let me first talk about some of the algorithms which are in use today, which has been written in the table now. Uh, there are a lot of formats, but I've only specified three. There are other formats also available with the likes of Snappy, LZ4, and so on. But today I'll be talking about three algorithms and uh, three compression formats, which is Deflate, Gzip, Bzip2. As you can see here, that I have uh, written some parameters here. The tool for Deflate is nothing; no, no, it's not available. Algorithm used behind the scenes of Deflate is Deflate. File extension. Whenever you're compressing the data with the Deflate, it will be ending with the dot Deflate extension. It is not splitable. This this uh, parameter is quite useful. Meaning is that you all know that in the SDFS, the the standard block size is 128 MB. And we want our file to be uh, divided into multiple blocks so that um, uh, it will be uh, stored efficiently, right? And we'll, we'll be uh, like um, uh, not be uh, wasting more uh, storage, right? But in the case of deflate, it will not allow you to uh, store your file into the in, into the number of blocks into the in the block size of 128 MB. So it it means it will. Um, uh, it is not an efficient way to uh, store the data if we are doing if we are compressing the uh, your data with the uh, deflate, right? So it is not allowing you to split that uh, file into smaller blocks. Next, we have a gzip. It's a default compression format. Uh, and the tool used behind gzip is gzip. The algorithm uh, used by gzip is of deflate. Uh, the file name with the extension .gz. Again, it is not splitable. It means it's not letting you to split the file into smaller blocks. The third one is bzip2. Uh, in this case, the tool uses bzip2. Algorithm is bzip2. Uh, the file extension will be .bz2. Okay, but the thing is, the significant change we have got here is that it is splitable. That it lets you divide the file into smaller blocks so that it can be properly uh, arranged in the uh, memory, right? So it is an efficient uh, algorithm out of three. Okay, so let's uh, uh, talk about uh, some of the uh, trade-off here. That all the algorithms exhibit some space-time trade-off, right? If we want faster execute compression, it comes with the cost. You can see here it's written that faster compression and decompression speeds usually comes at the cost of smaller space saving. So if we want faster compression, it has some cost, right? Let's talk about the last thing, which is codec. Codec, the full form is compression decompression. So codec is the implementation of a compression decompression algorithm. Uh, in the case of Hadoop, the codec is, is represented by an implementation of the interface which is compression codec. Let me show you, show you the same here. I have uh, now written here that uh, for the case of deflate, which is the compression format, the Hadoop compression form codec is org.apache.hadoop.io.compress.default codec. Similarly for gzip and bzip2, we have a different Hadoop compression codec. So this is all about the introduction, introductory part. Let me discuss now that how we can implement these uh, compression formats in the scoop, because our today's topic is scoop only, right? So let me discuss the same. I've already have uh, like written the syntax here. You can see this is the syntax we need to follow. Till this moment, till this point, everything is same, like which we already discussed in the previous videos. This is the new thing which I've added here, which is compress. So this marks the 
gzip right because i have already told you that gzip is the default format so if you only specify compress without specifying any a uh, compression codec so it will be uh, storing or compressing your file with the gzip right uh, similarly next one is that if you want to use a deflate again everything is same but we have added um, a new thing to it the the suffix it is added the last parameter is added which is compression hyphen codec in which we are specifying that you want to uh, compress with the deflate and the last thing we have is that if you want to uh, like compress compress the file in the bzip2 extension then we need to use this again compress and compression codec will be bzip2 so let me discuss the same okay uh, for this purpose i uh, have already opened my sql in the my sql uh, i'll be using this table only uh, which is employee right uh, it is available under the database e e1 right so th this will be uh, serving a base for me uh, i will be just compressing a data given in the table maybe you not be getting any significant change but still just for a demonstration purpose i'm using this table right so let me open up a new terminal and here i'll be performing all three commands so first command is i'll be compressing the table data into the default format which is bzip right let me just type in proper way compress okay it, it should be okay so table and then i need to take this into the consideration let me copy here okay so everything is fine let me reduce the space here okay it is target dir hyphen hyphen okay everything is fine and then compress is again in the hyphen hyphen so what i'm doing now in this case is that i'll be storing the results on the desktop under the abc folder and i'm using only the compress extension it means it will be compressing in the gzip format so let's press enter and see what happens It will take a little time and you can see that uh, we have retrieved one record so let me take you to that to that location the location is desktop in the desktop we got abc and you can see the extension is dot gz okay so this also marks the success so it means it is successfully um, imported here right in the gz format the next command that we have is let me just change it here next one is i'll be using the deflate in this case the compression codec i need to use as the suffix compression codec and it is this time it is now deflate okay so everything is same but only have the change which i made is that I'm, I'm just appending the suffix to it which is compression codec which is deflate press enter and wait for the result okay you can see now again we have retrieved one record and check it out now we have abc1 and b it is a deflate extension right so last one now which is coming the bzip2 in the bzip2 let's change to the bzip2 and also change the directory to abc2 and press enter okay so again we got successfully the for one record and again check it here we have got abc2 under abc2 we have got the dot bz2 as the extension right so this marks the end of this video i hope you must have understood the three uh, algorithm that i'm using in three compression formats which is the gzip bzip2 and deflate in case if you're getting any uh, confusion if you're getting any error let me know Thanks for watching. Just see you next video.